Hi everyone, Mike here from Robart, and we're gonna follow up today on the electric control box and what these status lights mean. Okay, so on our 177 control box, you have two status light sections here. You have a green, and then the one underneath will turn red. And I'm gonna make that turn red here in a second. And what we're gonna go over today is what do those mean? So we're gonna start off with the receiver wire. And you can see there's, you get, you get three colors here. We've got a orange, red, and brown. The brown wire goes to the negative, okay? And that is basically all you need to plug in your receiver. Just think brown goes to negative. If you were to turn this around and plug it in incorrectly, let's say you put the brown on the signal wire, now you get a red light. So if you have a red light, that's the first thing I want you to check. Make sure that your signal wire is plugged, or your brown wire, apologize, is plugged into the negative, and then you can get a green light. The other one is, if you remember on the last conversation, is this little jumper right here. This jumper is very important. So that jumper gets plugged into the zero and plus. And what that jumper indicates is this is the side where the auxiliary battery plugs in. If you are going to run your retracts off of the power from your receiver, then you need to have your jumper plugged into the zero and the plus. If you put the jumper onto the plus and the minus, now you're going to get a blinking green and a blinking red light. All right, so that's your indication that you have the jumper in the incorrect spot. So now you can see I have a green light, okay? The other one is if you have your batteries at too high of a voltage or too low of a voltage, you're going to get a red light, all right? So if you have under 4.8 volts or over nine volts, you will get a red light, all right? And then also the last one is if you forget the, your jumper and you just try to run this on its own without any connection in there, then you will have a blinking red and green light. So I'm gonna plug that back in. Solid green light. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll go ahead and show you how to plug these in. So I do have the cameraman back up a little bit and you can see we have one of our planes here from our trade shows and I'll go ahead and plug these in and you can see it says type A. What type A means is your type here. That means it's got a lower amp out setting. So that would be for your 60 size and smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in to your unit section. Remember, you're gonna follow all of the orange and plug these in. Unit one, unit two, and then unit three. All right, so as you can see, I've got my receiver wire plugged in to the RX section. I've got the brown wire in the negative. I've got my jumper on the zero and plus. I've got a green light. Unit one is plugged in here. Unit two is plugged in here and unit three is plugged in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this up and so we can, you can see this actually operating. Get my cheat sheet out of the way. So there's our gear in a fully deployed position. And then I'll go ahead and activate it one more time. Flip the, the retract switch and gear is in the, deploy, in the retracted position. The last thing I want to do want to show you on here is on your control box, you do have a delay switch. So let's say I wanted to delay the nose gear. So my nose gear, let me follow my wires around, is the middle one. So on the delay at the bottom, I'm gonna move that to a check mark for a yes. And so now I have 
a delay on that. And so let's go ahead and operate the gear one more time. So there goes my mains and there goes the nose. So that gives you more of a scale effect. So if you say you wanted to delay a right or a left gear or delay your nose, either way, that gives you a more scale look. So for further questions, give us a call, 630-584-7616. Check us out online at www.robart.com or follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Have a good day.